In this video, you are going to learn how to find out the exact number of bricks you need to build a wall. The method in this video is accurate, tested and trusted and you can rely on it when answering these three common questions. 1. How to find out the exact number of bricks to build a wall. 2. How to find out the exact number of bricks in one square meter. And 3. How to find out the exact number of bricks you need to build your house. So. Be sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss this. Let's first clearly understand what a brick means. A brick is a building material used to build walls made of clay or mud hardened by sun drying or burning in a kiln. When building a wall, we combine these single units together to come up with a complete wall. This wall has three main dimensions. One, the length which is a representation of the horizontal distance, two, the height, which is the vertical distance of the wall, and three, the thickness of the wall, which is typically the thickness of the brick depending on the brick bone type. Finding out the number of bricks to build this wall can be done in three easy steps. Step one is to find the volume of the wall, which includes bricks and mortar. Step two is to find the volume of one brick with mortar, and step 3 is to find the number of bricks which is simply the volume of the wall divided by the volume of one brick with mortar. That is, step 3 is equal to step 1 divided by step 2. Step 1. Considering a stretcher bond wall of 10 meters along the length and 3 meters along its height with wall thickness of 160 millimeters, volume of the wall here is 4.8 meters cubed. Step 2. Considering a stretcher bond wall with bricks of size 230 mm along its length, 160 mm along the width and 70 mm along the height. Different countries have different brick sizes and still the procedures remain the same. Let's add mortar to this brick size. The standard mortar size should be 10 mm but when you base your calculation on 10 mm mortar size, you will for sure make an error in estimation because masons can even go up to 25 mm. Therefore, on average, we can go with 15 mm mortar thickness. When you add mortar to this brick, the length will come to 245 mm and the height will come to 85 mm. The width will still remain the same. Mortar is added along the length of the brick and also along the height there is no mortar that is added along the width or thickness of the brick. Therefore, the length increases, the height increases, but the width or thickness of the wall does not increase. Therefore, the volume of one brick with mortar comes to this figure here. Third step, using the formula number of bricks required to build a wall is equal to volume of the wall divided by volume of one brick with mortar. When we feed in our figures here, we get 1440.57 which is equivalent to 1441 bricks. In other words, for a wall of 10 meters along the length and 3 meters along its height, you need 1441 bricks. This answer only covers the exact number of bricks required. On top of this figure, you can add 10 to 15 percent allowance for breakages. The total area for this wall is 10 meters along the length and 3 meters along its height, meaning you get 3 multiplied by 10 to get 30 square meters. For one square meter, you need 48 bricks. When you want to know the exact number of bricks you need to build your house, you work out each wall separately, just the same way as we have worked on a single wall in this video. As simple as that. That's all you need to know about how to find the number of bricks required to build a wall. Nothing more, nothing less. I hope you get something from it. If this video was helpful to you in any way, kindly hit that subscribe button. I would really really appreciate. Watch this next video about how to find the number of blocks required to build a wall.